Hey guys, Jack from Half Grown. Today I'm going to show you how I go about producing some of these videos that you're seeing. And I found some tips and tricks along the way that are pretty helpful and I'm going to share them with you. The first is you have to have the right hardware. What am I talking about? Well, starts with this. This mouse is a game changer. Now it's pretty much a standard mouse, except that it isn't. It's a gaming mouse. And I used one of those standard, uh, cheap, less than $10 mouses from Amazon. It was okay, but the precision on a gaming mouse is going to be a whole lot better. And that matters when I'm editing videos, especially when I got to get that cut at the right spot. Gaming mouse very helpful. I also went up and picked up this, this gaming keyboard. Do I need a wireless keyboard? No, I don't. Um, but it is nice to have one. It's Bluetooth. Um, it's, it's actually really pretty darn nice. Um, and I can move it out of the way, especially when I'm working with my laptop. And sometimes I need that in different places. I've got a bunch of stuff on my desk. I, I need to record a video. I can get this out of the way. So it's nice to have. You also see that I have two monitors set up. This is my computer that I edit all my videos on. It's a Dell. It's an i7. And really you need at least an i5, probably an i7 for most video editing, especially if you're doing 4K video. You can hear that fan is already churning. So you're probably wondering what video editor do I use? Well, I use Cyberlink Pro. It's not the most expensive. It's also not the cheapest. I've used a lot um, and tried a lot, and this is the one that I like. It's a good middle of the road software. So the video that we're gonna edit today is the Bugs 20 video. Hopefully by the time you watch this, it's already been released, but this is the process that I went through to get it. Now, I take all of the pictures and videos that I need for this drone and I put them in one folder on my computer. Now I've gone ahead and renamed some of them so that they're easier to find, right? So I have a B one that's B-roll. I know there was a time lapse on there, uh, the battery test. I don't name pictures because they kind of speak for themselves and naming them is just going to make it easier for me when I'm doing my video editing. It also allows me to kind of drop this entire folder into the editor and then I have everything in one place. I don't have to go and find it later because there were a lot of cameras involved in this. We had the drone, we had my phone, we had a secondary camera, um, and then I even had a GoPro going. So you can see I've already imported the video here. Now it's time to get to work. Really having a, a nice big monitor like this one is helpful. 24 inches or bigger, gonna make your life a lot easier. Now, a lot of times there is one major file that I'm working with, and then I'm gonna kind of add and clip things in from there. So that's obviously the place to start. So since this is a review video, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the review video of the drone, all of the talking points, kind of that me standing up in the front, that's where I start. I just go ahead and drag it down uh, to the uh, first timeline there, and then I start working. I've already done this, but you'll see I've made the audio track larger and I find it easier to edit audio if I can see it. That sounds a little strange, but if you look closely, you can see there are spots where I kind of pause, where I'm kind of gathering my thoughts or checking my notes. I'm gonna cut that out. So uh, seeing the audio makes it a lot easier to cut the audio. Now, once I've kind of put this together, then I'm going to go in and add some clips and overlays. You know, there will be a spot where I probably do some talking um, over some of the video, probably uh, video from the drone itself. And then at the end, I'll add some text and subtitles and things like that. That comes at the end. Then you produce it. Then you make a thumbnail. Then you upload it to YouTube. Hopefully that was helpful. And maybe you learned a trick or two. If you have any questions, hit us up in the comments down below. We'd love to be helpful. Hey, good luck. Happy flying or making videos.